It is estimated that about one-third of fish caught globally happens under circumstances described as illegal, unregulated, and unreported, and is valued to cost about 10 billion euros in lost revenue. There is also an extensive damage to fisheries ecosystem and horrendous abuse of human labor in fishing. The phenomenon leads to economic losses, depletion of fish stocks, destruction of fish and aquatic habitats, threatens food and livelihood security, survival of coastal communities, and long-term sustainability of fisheries. Speaking at the workshop, Minister of Fisheries and Aquaculture Development, Elizabeth Afolekwe, stressed that Ghana has since the adoption of a national plan of action to combat IEU been aggressively implementing the intended actions. Some of the achievements are as follows. Ghana maintains a record of fishing vessels on a computerized fishing fisheries licensing register. Ghanaian flagged fishing vessels operating in third-party states are obliged to obtain valid authorizations from those countries. The authorizations are validated by the Fisheries Commission from the countries purported to have issued the authorizations before the Ghanaian fishing vessels are allowed to fish. The Fisheries Enforcement Unit has been operationalized, whereas the Fisheries Monitoring Center is established in Tema. The, the Fisheries Enforcement Unit, FEU, undertake el electronic monitoring of all Ghanaian flagged industrial vessels as well as land and sea patrols, leading to arrests and prosecutions of fisheries offenders. Currently, the, F the Fisheries Monitoring Center is collaborating with the Ghana Maritime Authority and the ECOWAS Monitoring for Environment and Security in Africa of the University of Ghana to monitor all industrial vessels in Ghana's exclusive economic zone. Using Automatic Identification System, AIS, she noted that combating IEU is a shared responsibility domestically among agencies and internationally among states and called for a concerted effort in fighting aid. Adele Kwesi, Machtube, reporting for Metro News.